Uh, Bobby won't play tonight. Uh, he t he did block the shot in, uh, uh, earlier in the game, and it didn't allow him to play at all in the third period. So uh, he'll be out tonight, and he'll um, uh, we're hopeful that he'll be able to play on Saturday. So it's uh, too sore today for him to play, uh, but there's nothing um, structurally wrong with him, just uh, the pain that is uh, not allowing him to, to perform. And so Mikkel Bodker slides in? Yeah, Michelle, Mikkel Bodker will uh, slide in. And, uh, you know, it'll be a good opportunity for for uh, Mikkel to come back in. I told him yesterday that he was going to be playing tonight anyways. And, you know, we weren't going to take Bobby out of the lineup. But uh, we were bringing Mikkel back in uh, in this game. So uh, uh, we're hopeful that he comes back in and plays uh, uh, and feels good about his game. It's never fun to sit out. Um, never fun to uh, uh, to be the guy that isn't getting to perform with the other guys on on the team. But he's handled it really well. He's been a real true professional. And I thought today he did you know a great job with our young goalie that's going to be starting tonight. He hung around with them, made sure he got to the rink uh, um, the right way because you can really get lost here in, in Buffalo, especially in around. There's about five different ways that I've taken uh, uh, the, the trip down to the uh, stadium here in uh, in, in Buffalo. But uh, Mikel's uh, been a good teammate, and uh, he's uh, swallowed the bitter pill, and now hopefully he comes in and performs really well. As much as you want to get a look at the rookies for as long as possible, yeah. how important is it to have that veteran presence, though, as well? Well, for sure. You know, guys that have been around, people always talk uh, uh, to, to them. Like the younger guys are um, very much influenced by older players, and they're influenced uh, – you know, on a lot of different levels, you know, how, how they want to practice is a big one. How they uh, want to act around the team. Uh, I, I think they follow the lead of the, the veteran players a great deal, you know, from the standpoint of, of how they um, how they train, how they uh, prepare for games. Those are things that uh, are always being picked up by younger players. And as much as, uh, you know, our staff does a good job of uh, putting – the process in place that will allow them to, to have good habits. When you see older guys doing it, it's so much easier to follow. Based on your experience, Coach, can you just offer a, maybe a season overall assessment of the rookies who have played here? I think Joey Decord becomes the ninth rookie to debut in the NHL in a Senators uniform. And the point production um, has reached a franchise high as yeah. well in points. Uh, well, guys have gotten a great opportunity, and uh, they've gotten a, you know, uh, as you say, they've been a, you know, a, a large amount of points scored, and our next point sets a rookie uh, record for us. So, you know, with Joey Decord coming in tonight and him being such a good puck handler, maybe he'll get the point <laughs> and uh, head man the puck and and Fingers do right. those sorts of sorts of things. But. Uh, uh, it's been nice to watch uh, these guys come in, uh, you know, sitting on the sidelines and watching all these players, uh, many of them playing their first games. That's always an exciting time. It's the only chance you get to uh, play your first game. All the guys recognize, the veteran players all recognize, you know, just how how exciting and how nervous and how anxious you are when you play in those games. And I, I think they all can feel... Um, uh, the, what uh, what Joey Decord is uh, is going through uh, right now. Uh, he's going to have his family here tonight. You always want to perform uh, well, and uh, you're living out a childhood dream by finally playing in the in the National Hockey League. And uh, you know we've had a we've had a remarkable year for firsts uh, by all the rookies that have played in their first games in the National Hockey League. What kind of game do you have to play here tonight to help Joey get his first win? Well, I think very similar game to last night. I thought last night we were we were really good in, in terms of um, uh, how we played without the puck. Um, it was, again, a game. We don't have a lot of these games where we outchance an opponent. And, um, you know, part of it is... Uh, uh, we've got a workmanlike group, um, and the skill is developing. Uh, so, uh, you know, for us to uh, to have success last night, playing a strong game away from the puck, and then it, for it to show itself in the quality scoring chances that we got, that that's the way players want to play. Uh, you know, they they want to be able to uh, to have a payoff, 
and the payoff is that you've got the puck more, the payoff is that you're more creative, the payoff is uh, that you get to do things that shine offensively. Uh, and again, our guys paid the price defensively uh, in the last game, not just on the penalty kill, not just in the defensive zone, but they, uh, they kept plays alive by getting above the puck and um, kept plays going uh, by having such good habits away from the puck. All right, Coach, thank you for this. Okay. Ben Harper. Uh, Ben's, uh, he's not going to be able to play uh, tonight. Uh, we're still holding uh, some hope, uh, but uh, he's uh, not feeling well enough to, uh, to play, and uh, we're going to have him uh, uh, stay out uh, here tonight. And uh, you know, I'm sure we'll see tomorrow once he sees everybody back there just exactly what's going on with him, and uh, hopefully he's... Uh, uh, he'll be able to uh, be back in the lineup, but we don't, we're not holding a great deal of hope right now uh, that he's going to be able to play. Do you, do you anticipate having Borough back on uh, we're, we're, Saturday? We're very hopeful that he'll be back on Saturday. So, uh, you know, he's uh, back there and, and working with uh, our therapist back there, and Jerry's uh, uh, working with him and he's been working out uh, uh, both on the ice and in the gym and uh, again I, we don't have any definite uh, with him uh, but we're very hopeful in his case uh, that the signs are that he'll be able to play in a game that he wants to play in on, on Saturday. When you sit a player what does Mikel Bogker have to do to be an effective player? Well, he needs opportunity more than anything. Um, he, I think Mikel is the type of player that um, has been really good for us all year, as his point totals will show you on our special teams. Uh, he's a, a specialty player that's been very good uh, on the power play. He's especially good at uh, coming into the zone. And if, if there's an area that younger players have difficulty uh, uh, coming to grips with it is uh, on the rush and it is on the uh, the power play entry and he's arguably our best player on entries uh, on the power play so he gets a lot of uh, of opportunity um, uh, on the power play he's he's performed really well in those special team situations he's had some games that, where he's been quite good um, and more games where you know we'd like to see a little bit. Uh, more, I don't know, I guess just consistently on the puck um, and, uh, and more determination. He's not alone in, in, that, uh, in that sense from a lot of the other guys on the team. That's been one of the things that we've really tried to emphasize lately is just our commitment to be dogged in our pressure, our commitment to stop on pucks, our commitment to stay uh, in the hunt and in the in the fight, uh, no matter where you are on the ice, and uh, you know, I guess that's probably the area that will show itself uh, the most with uh, Mikel. But on the other areas where he's been really good, we hope he continues to be uh, really good. And he's had a very good offensive uh, uh, production standpoint from, especially in our power play situations. Bro, did you did you say who's backing up tonight? Uh, Nielsen is going to back up. So, uh, yeah, we're giving Andy the complete day off. Yeah, it's not like you can protect him. You know, uh, he's, he, he's there much like the relief pitcher in, uh, in, in baseball or the pitcher in baseball. Like it, uh, it is a very individual uh, position. Yes, we, if we play the type of game where we're protecting him and not giving up second chances, that's how we can really help. If we're not giving up... Um, rush chances, uh, uh, an odd number of rush chances, then that's another way that obviously we want to allow him to have a, uh, a night where he settles in and plays real well. But all goalies have to make saves uh, th that we expect them to make. All goaltenders have to make a few that we don't expect them to make, and that's what uh, uh, good young goalies are. I, I will say that, you know, he, he, he is getting much more used to the to the shots. He's uh, worked with our goalie, uh, Coach Pierre Grew, today, and we had Mikel and uh, Verano out there shooting on him. So, you know, we want him to get into that groove of just the type of, of great shooters that he's going to see. And, you know, he knows some of these guys personally on the other 
uh, other side, uh, you know, having played with Eichel as he was a kid.